Begin by reaching your hands up to the sky and place your hands in front of the heart. Inhale, slide the chest up, roll the shoulders back. Reach up, inhale. As you exhale, set an intention as you bring your heart back into prayer. Sit back into chair, Ukatasana. As you exhale, grounding in through the feet, straightening up through the legs. Reach up with the left leg, stepping it back into a lunge, reaching the hands up. Send the left hip back and dive forward with the heart and trace the fingers along the mat as you slide over onto the other side. Roll the shoulders up, internally rotate the back thigh and stepping back leg to the front, Ukatasana. Keep dropping the tailbone down and reach the heart up. Hands in prayer. Gentle back bend. Remember your intention. Reach the hands back into chair. Spread the toes. Make sure you can see your knees above your toes. Lifting up with the back leg. Reach the hands up. Ground the back heel as you lower the heart down. Reach across to the other side. Engage through the back thigh. Stepping into chair. And then into mountain pose to dasana. Root through your feet. Feel like you're drawing lines of energy up through the legs. Stepping back into a lunge. Warrior two. Feel the front hand reaching to your future, the back hand to the past, and your heart right in the middle. Keep the eyes soft. Reverse the warriors. You reach open with the arms. Keep the bend of that front knee as you reach back in space. Gently drop the front elbow to the thigh and spiral your chest open, reaching up, fingers reaching for the sky. Keep a softness to the breath. Root down through that back foot so the arches are lifting and slowly coming back up into warrior two. Bring the hands in towards the hips and, and find the hip creases. Open your heart, internally rotate the thighs. Press down through your feet and let your heart dive down towards the earth. Press the fingertips and reaching up through one hand up to the sky. Keep your hips level here. Bring that top hand down and reaching through the other hand. Place more weight towards the front of the foot, less so in the heel so your hamstrings get a little bit more of a stretch. Inhale deeply into the chest. And as you exhale again, rooting through the earth, start to roll yourself up, vertebra by vertebra, hands and hips. Turning out the left leg and then stretching with the left hand forward, coming into warrior two. Hands and Paswa Kanasana. Spiral the chest open, reaching up with the hands. Keep a lightness to the breath. As you ground down through the body, can you start to reach forward into warrior two and reverse, but keep that, that sort of chest nice and open, but the lower back slightly curled in. Again, opening up through the chest, reaching up with the top hand. If your neck doesn't feel comfortable, you can look to the floor. Otherwise, reach the gaze, the drushti, up to the sky. Leading the heart forward. So really press through the outer lines of your foot. Send your inner ankles away from each other. Allow the crown to descend, holding your toes or your calves. Activate your arm strength here by bending the elbows and send your spine forward by lifting the sitter bones up. And coming into lunge in the front of your mat and rolling your spine up vertebra by vertebra, stacking your spine and lifting up with the hands. Tadasana, mountain. Reaching up with the left leg, step that back into a lunge. Swivel back heel to the floor, warrior two. Energize your arms here. Pass with Kanasana on the other side. Reaching the arms on the inside, start to open up, coming into binded position. Really start to rotate through the center of the chest, allow the back shoulder to be nice and comfortable. Feel the inner triceps press against the thighs, spread through the outer lines of your feet. Open your heart. Grinding down through your feet, coming up into warrior two. Straighten that front leg, suck the thigh in towards the hip and reach forward into triangle trikonasana. Reaching up with the top hand, 
the back leg is very important here so press into it and then perhaps bring that top hand by the ear and roll the shoulders back and down so you have a long line of energy bending through that front knee inhale reaching yourself up ukatasana perhaps sitting a little deeper but not beyond the knees plunge into your feet reaching up into tadasana mountain remember your intention stay focused Allow yourself to energize from the feet up to the heart. Feel an openness through the entire body. Gently coming to the end of the mat. And again, feeling grounded here, lifting up through the heart. Reach up with your right leg, stepping it back, grounding to the back foot. Warrior two, pull the tailbone down. And reaching out to the other side into triangle. See if you can get the bind underneath the thigh, nearer to the knee than closer to the center of the hips. Can you root down through your toes? Make sure your front heel's level with the instep of the back foot. Warrior two, energize those fingers. Reach the back hand behind you, slide front hand in front and release the arm up. So you look, looking for a kind of, you're drawing energy from the inside of the the, the lower hand all the way through the heart up to the top of the body. Bend through that front knee. And coming into a wide-legged stance, have the toes out, heels in, drop the tailbone down, we're coming into Kapalabhati breath. Don't worry about the inhalation, just think about the exhalation. Inhale, exhale, 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 exhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. Pull your belly into the center. Exhale, 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 exhale. Detoxing the body. Exhale, exhale, building the fire inside. Exhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, hand into prayer. Regulate the breath. Bring the right leg back, stepping into lunge. Drop the back knee to the floor. Reach up into Anjaniyasana, roll the shoulders back, spread open through the chest, bring the hands into prayer. Drop the hands down to the floor, coming into lizard. Bring the elbows to the earth. Lengthen the chest forward, lifting the back knee. Ground down through your feet, root down through the left hand, reach the right hand up. Send your right hip back in space. Suck the back thigh in towards the bones. Dropping the knee and reaching your heel in towards the body. Spiral your chest open. Framing the feet. Stepping forward. Squeeze through the thighs. Have a gentleness to your eyes. Heat building in the body. Pause opening. Stay calm. Still. Reaching back with the right leg. Drop the back knee. Open up through the heart. Have the hands on the inside. Dropping down into the lizard on the other side. Okay, back knee can stay on the floor, but if your elbows are comfortably grounded, you can tuck the back toes under and lift the back knee up off the floor. Keep the length in the front of the spine. Just look behind you to make sure your knee is facing the floor. Keep moving left hip back in space, right hip slightly forward. Good. Root down through the right hand, open up through the chest on this side. Keep sending the left hip back in space without that knee moving away from the heel. Step forward, rolling the spine up, stacking your spine, lifting up. So coming into a squat, have the toes out, heels in, hands in prayer. Squeeze the thighs in towards the arms, hands reaching forward, ground them to the floor. Exhale into your core and reaching the heart forward, coming into Bakasana Crow. Lengthen through the chest, spread the chest, and dropping down the heels. Coming onto your knees, release your toes. Breathe softly through your body. Place your hands on your lower back and open the heart. Centering through the middle of the body. Inhale, reach up through the right hand, place that on the heels. Stretch your left hand up. Ustrasana, camel. Reaching with the back hand on the back heel, keep sending the hips forward, spread through the belly, open through the throat, 
Avoid dropping the head back too much because you want to keep your neck nice and comfortable. It's a really heart opening pose. Ties together, drop the bottom down, lift up through the chest, twisting over. Lengthen your spine. Inhale to twist and as you exhale, moving around to the other side. Roll the shoulders back. Reaching up with the left hand, placing that in the heel. In. You can keep your toes tucked under if it feels a little bit more challenging. Otherwise, you can release the toes, so you release the bones, the metatarsals, and the tops of the toes. Open through the throat. Slide your inner armpits down the back and feel your shoulder blades meeting in the center. Leveling out the spine. And then coming on to your back. Have the knees propped in and the heels out, creating space for the lower back. Spread your arms into cactus arms, elbows in level with the shoulders. And stretching your legs out, toes out to the side. Let everything just settle for a few moments. Fingers curling in. Rest. 